In this application, we have uh, designed a system to uh, assist operators in the handling and assembling of uh, supercharger assemblies from the beginning of the assembly process all through the packing and shipping process. And it's all going to use the same tooling design. Um, the tooling is set up so that it can orient the superchargers either horizontal or vertical depending on which part of the assembly process they are in. Uh, for the system, we are going to use a rigid mass manipulator, telescopic aluminum mast, using a Gorbel IQG force in a nested trolley configuration on a double aluminum bridge Gorbel system. The tooling uses a uh, slick raise and lower method, it's the Gorbel force sensing handle. And so you'll notice I'm not pushing up or down levers. I'm just getting a little bit of pressure on the handles, either up or down. And what we've also done is extended the handles because during different parts of the assembly process, um, the operator will be on the other side of the tool. He'll be up in here. And he'll want to move it up and down, and he can do it from in front of the tool when he's at that stage of the assembly. The tooling uses some indicators so that the gripper pads hit in the exact correct position needed to grip the supercharger. And I'm going to turn it a little bit here, and you'll see what the gripper process looks like. They'll extend in, and once they've come into the correct position, they'll extend upward, gripping the upper flange of the casting. The other feature is that, again, during a certain portion of the assembly phase, they need to handle these in a vertical. A feature that we're using is, uh, through the IQG force, is a programmable virtual limit. But we only wanted the virtual limit to be activated when it was in the vertical position, and that's so the operators can locate this exactly where it needs to be. Um, when it's vertical. So we have a proc switch right here. Now watch this. When I turn to the down position, it's going to change uh, its state. Now the virtual limit has been deactivated and I have full motion. This is a typical scenario where a customer has sent us uh, their sample part we designed and built the tooling, we tested it all out here, and they're actually coming in this afternoon for runoff. And that means uh, the engineers, the safety personnel, and the operators will all be going over it and giving their input as to um, what, they, what they like, what they don't like, if they want to see some changes in the handle geometry, um, everything regarding buy-off so it's ready to go and everybody's happy when it shows up at the end user. So I'll go through the operation. The operator will um, move the tooling into position, and I am watching my guide pins, and I am aiming for uh, the pinholes that are in the casting. Now I'm locked in. I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to press my grip lever, and then again to raise. I just put a little bit of pressure on the handles, and it raises up from there. Um, the pitch motion puts it into a vertical orientation. And I'll show one other feature. This is again using the Gorbel IQ. The Gore, uh, the G Force, IQ G Force. The G Force knows that there's a load on here and it will not release the load. I'll also use that feature for setting it down. I'll hold the release button. while I'm setting it down, and it won't release until it has landed. And it's a perfect indication for the operator to know um, how low to go. So right now, I'm actually holding the release button. I'm going to bring the part down. As soon as the part weight is off, the G-Force knows it, releases, and they're up and off. 